Have you been thinking about moving to Seguin, Texas? Well, it might be the perfect opportunity with the rapid growth and the affordability of the houses in Seguin. This is a place to definitely have on your radar. With a population of 34,000 as of 2023, I'm gonna take you around and show you three different homes today at three different price points so you get a better idea of what Seguin has to offer. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in New Braunfels, Texas and the surrounding areas like Seguin, Texas, then subscribe below, tap that bell notification so you can be the first to learn everything about living in New Braunfels and the surrounding areas. I get calls, texts and emails every day from people just like you looking to make the move and I absolutely love helping. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email or schedule a Zoom, and I'm happy to help you make your next move a smooth process. So to tell you a little bit more about Seguin, it is a great place, still a small town with the amenities and all of the attractions that you would like of a big city. We've got a Walmart and HEB. Right behind me, there's actually a great barbecue place called the Burnt Bean. There's a line usually of people waiting uh, to get in there and get their barbecue. This is downtown Seguin. Again, population is 34,000, so it's still relatively small. We have different events going on all of the time. They're setting up a stage behind me right now. Seguin is close to New Braunfels. You're just a skip throw away. San Marcos is close by. You can hop on IH-10 and get into San Antonio or go north to Austin through I-35. So definitely something to keep on your radar. I'm gonna show you three different homes today in the area, three different price points, so you get a little bit better idea of what you could expect here if you're looking to buy a home and move. But we got a Walmart, we got an HEB, the Guadalupe River, it runs right through here. So you have boating, kayaking, fishing. We have Lake McQueenie, which is a great spot. You know, lots of houses there. The Lake Dunlap is close to here as well. So really a lot to do in the area. It also boasts as being one of the oldest cities here in Texas with a house. There's actually a house, the Sebastopol Historic Site, which dates back to 1856. It's a Greek revival style house. Definitely something to come check out. Max Starkey Park, golf course. There's a fairgrounds here where they have a fair every year and then they've had monster trucks come out. I took my nephews and nieces to that and they loved it. So you're always gonna have something going on. And as far as the economic growth, Seguin is steadily growing. It has a wide array of jobs, a lot of manufacturing here, great place to come work and live. So if you're an outdoorsy person this is the place for you always attractions great food restaurants local dining one of my favorite places here is the power plant a restaurant it's a great place definitely check it out education is another notable aspect of seguin with the texas lutheran university being here and then the diverse manufacturing facilities you have automobile industries you have continental some of the Niagara plant is here for water, like the water bottles. There's a library that I'm gonna take and show you as well. It's a brand new, one of my favorite spots. It's a really pretty, there's a, a walking trail behind it. So let's go check that out and then we'll go look at some homes. This is the Seguin Public Library that I wanted to show you with the walking trails. Take a look at this library. This was built very recently. It's state of the art. I mean, the inside is just beautiful. Great place to take your kids for lots of activities or for you to come check out a great book. It's high on my list. And then we come down here. I'll show you this. And you got a little creek side back here. And look at that. So in my opinion, Seguin is just beautiful. And I hope you get the chance to come take a look at it yourself. 
But if you can't get it here right away, that's why I'm taking you and showing you around and showing you the home. So let's go take a look at the first home on our tour today. So the first home on the tour here in Seguin, it is at $259,700 and it is a two story, three bedroom, two and a half bath with a two car garage. It is 1,432 square feet and it was built in 2020. So let's check it out. Okay, the second house that we're looking at today is in Navarro Oaks here in Seguin, right off of 123. So you have easy access to San Marcos or hopping on IH10. This is a four bedroom, two bath, 1,781 square foot home, listed for $320,000. Now, this is built in 2021, so it's a newer community. You've got great access to all kinds of stuff here in the area. And so let's look around more at this neighborhood. Okay, for our third and final home on the tour today in Seguin, we're here in the Greenfield community in the northeast side of Seguin. This is a home, it actually just sold, but I wanted to give you an idea of what it was that will, you would get in this subdivision. This house is built in 2022. It's listed at $323,990, and it is 2,421 square feet, a two-story, two-car garage. So as you can see, this is a newer community with still homes going up and being built, and then already a lot of people moved in. You've got a middle school really close by, your uh, easy access to hop on 123 and get to I-10. So great spot. If you are looking to buy, then feel free to reach out to me in nine or 90 days. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and I'm happy to help you make your next move a smooth process. Until next time, check out some of my other videos, and I hope you have a fantastic day.